Hey guys, this is Carrie, founder of Power Palace Gym, co-founder. I'm going to talk about some of the more obscure, rare, and I'd say I'd say even desirable uh, pieces of equipment we've got here at our classic 80s style bodybuilding, powerlifting, sports conditioning gym. Uh, so this is a newer piece here. This is actually not a piece from the 1980s. It's Hammer Strength. Hammer Strength came out in the early 2000s. Um, but it is a very desirable piece of equipment. So this is called the Front Military Press. It's also been sold under the name of the Super Incline Press. And uh, it's actually one of the more versatile pieces of equipment that Hammer Strength has made. Depending upon the si uh, where you had the seat, it can be more of a military press or it can be more of an incline press. So by the lower the seat, it's more chest dominant, higher the seat, it's a little bit more shoulder dominant. Uh, very desirable piece of equipment, hard to find these days. Another piece we have is a four-way neck machine. And although this one only has 50 pounds on it, we do have what's called a gym pin. You can put the pin into the weight stack and then you can add weight plates to it. So you can increase the, uh, the resistance. And we have Kevlar belts on this machine, so it can handle a lot more weight than just 50 pounds. What's nice about this is if you want to specifically develop your neck, if you're doing something like wrestling or football or uh, other types of martial arts, boxing, developing your neck is something that you really want to do because uh, the stronger your neck, the less chance you're going to suffer from concussions. So it's really important to develop your neck if you're playing those types of sports. And uh, this is an excellent way to do it, much easier than having to dangle weights off your head with a, with a harness and, and doing neck bridges, which can actually hurt your spine and things like that. So four-way neck machine. Um, next, other piece of equipment that's kind of rare. Um, well, we have our, our old-school MaxiCam cable crossover machine, but we've also got another one. We've got this Kevlar belt-driven machine that was made by Natalis back in the late 80s. I believe early 90s it could have been as well. It's part of the S2T, uh, uh, excuse me, ST2 series Kevlar belt driven crossover. And what, what people like about crossovers with the belt driven is it feels a little bit smoother compared to the cables. Um, they just feel like it gets a little bit smoother action in, in the motion. So it can be very desirable. Another thing that we've got here is some specialty bars. So we've got a Duffalo uh, imitation bar by Titan Fitness. It's the same thing as a normal curved bar. What's nice about this is that some people have a little bit of trouble with mobility uh, for squatting, for holding a straight bar. So this being curved makes it a little bit easier to grip it. And the way that it, it weighs on you as well, it, people just find it a little bit smoother motion when they're doing really heavy squats. They like the curved bar. Uh, we've also got a multi-grip bar here as well, which is a little bit more tricep focused when you're doing a bench press. So it makes it easier to do close grip bench press, basically. Uh, something else that's kind of neat here. Um, we've got an old school round head preacher curl. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the flat head vari variety, which uh, is more common these days, the flat head. But the round head is the original version of a preacher curl, and it was designed to really let you get in there deep with your forearms. So you can get real, real good forearm workout, which you can't really do as effectively with the flat head because your forearms stop right here. So it's really just focused on bicep, but this will be more forearm dominant. And uh, as a result, you can work your forearms really well while you're also doing a, uh, doing a preacher curl. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. That's kind of novel. Oh, get our hammer strength machine over here. This is the wide chest hammer strength machine. It's hard to find these days, um, and it's very desirable for bodybuilding because it kind of simulates doing a dumbbell press without having to actually hold dumbbells in your hand. Um, some people really like to max out on this one compared to doing a uh, more traditional um, barbell uh uh, bench press because you can get really you can lower basically you lower your the weight past your chest with a bar you you have to keep it you know in front of your chest because the bar can't go past your chest but with this one you can get really really low with it and get a very nice deep chest workout for the pecs uh, let's see what else we've got in here that's kind of novel uh, well, the double chest machine, of course, I've made some videos of this. I like this a lot because you can superset with it. And being an inclined, um, inclined pec fly, basically, uh, what it simulates is doing an inclined cable row 
um, not row, but a cable chest motion where you basically sit between two cable uh, stations and you're pulling up from the bottom with it. And I think it's called an iron cross in a lot of bodybuilding books. So this kind of simulates doing the iron cross. And uh, similarly with the wide chest, because you're at this inclined angle, you can actually get it well past your your uh, your, your chest the, with the motion. So you can get really, really deep into those pecs. Uh, you can superset it with these handles here into a decline press. And as you can see, these handles move independently of each other. So it's isometric, which is really desirable uh, to make sure that your weak side gets stronger and isn't just supported, you know, cheated by your strong side of your arm. Uh, what else have we got in here that's kind of neat? Uh, oh, 10 degree chest. 10 degree chest is kind of like doing dumbbell flies, again, really, really deep um, uh, without having to hold the dumbbells it's your, in your hand. Be limited by, you know, the, your grip strength to do uh, what is mostly a chest exercise. The, you'll see this in a lot of classic uh, bodybuilding workouts from the late 70s uh, all through the 80s and 90s. You'll see a lot of big bodybuilders using the 10-degree chest machines, and we have one right here. Another thing that's kind of neat, uh, we got a seated, uh, seated um, leg curl machine, which is very focused on hamstrings. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the lion leg curl. Lion leg curl is, is an okay workout. Um, but lion leg curl, because of the mo uh, of the position, it, it tends to be a little bit more glute than it is hamstring. So if you really want to isolate the hamstrings, uh, you use the seated um, a seated version of it. And uh, I mean, uh, of the type of leg curls, the one with the incline uh, bench like this, where it's a little bit curved there at the end, that's really what you want. The perfectly flat leg curl machines. They're really glute focused. Like, look over here, what I got here. This is actually a glute kickback machine. It's a dedicated machine just for glute kickbacks. And your 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 body is perfectly horizontal, and it, there's no curve like that. So, um, this machine is just for isolating the glutes. You no, know? um, another thing, I guess, not really, I'd say rare, uh, but it's definitely something that you know you aren't you're only going to see in a gym that's actually serious is a seated leg. Um, excuse me, calf raise machine. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the standing calf machine, and this is definitely a good exercise, but the, the calf is actually a couple different muscles, really, what we, at least what we refer to as the calf. So standing calf machine, uh, it's going to work the top part of your calf, basically, and the seated one is going to work the bottom part of your calf. And where a lot of people go wrong is that they're not doing the seated version, and then they wonder why their calves look small. Well, it's because half of your calf muscle is not being worked. Uh, you need to have both. Uh, another thing we've got in here that's kind of neat, uh, multi-hip machine. A lot of people are familiar with the uh, abduction, adductor machine. Uh, sometimes also referred to as a good girl, bad girl machine. You know, you're spreading your legs wide. Um, so this is actually a more versatile piece of equipment uh, compared to that because you can use it for doing things like knee raises and other things like that. So we, we have this instead. Now, I do intend to eventually get an adductor abductor machine in here so people can do the more you know the, the more common way uh, but we do have something here that you can use specifically just for working those muscles which is the multi-hip machine uh, another thing that's kind of neat we got a hack squat machine of course but you see hack squat machines at pretty much all gyms these days uh, we've got a deadlift platform here with some, uh, some more specialty bars again we've got a rogue deadlift bar what's nice about this bar is it's a lot longer than a standard power bar, and it's been designed so that it really, you know, it doesn't really bend in the in, in the middle of it where you're gripping. It bends on the sides, and uh, it's been um, it's been forged in such a way that you can basically drop this with as much weight as you want, and it's never going to bend. Um, I'm really surprised. And the knurling is is amazing on this. You can see it's well, it's still got some chalk on it. Okay, and we do allow chalk. You want to have chalk, honestly, otherwise you're very likely to tear your your hands apart. Uh, while you're trying to do these heavy lifts. And of course we have jacks to make it easier for people to load the plates on here. Other bars that we've got here, we've got a safety bar by Sorenex, 65 pounds, but it's got these handles on it here. You can see that it makes it easier to do a good morning exercise, which can be kind of dangerous to do uh, with a lot of weight when you are using a traditional power bar. Uh, it also can be used for squatting and the way that it kind of sits on you. It takes most of the weight off of your back. It puts it straight onto your legs, which is really where you want to have the squat anyway. Of course, so we also have a Valor Fitness uh, trap bar, and it focuses on the traps more 
It's a deadlift variation. Uh, and the handles are also adjustable, which is really what you want in a trap bar. We've also got a women's Bella bar from Rogue, which is an entry-level powerlifting bar uh, combo. It's a hybrid bar, uh, so you can do some Olympic lifts with it. It has knurling for that, but you can also use it for powerlifting. And the reality is, you know, some women, when they first get into weightlifting, their hands just aren't as long uh, and, and as strong as men's are. So having a smaller bar that weighs a little bit less and has good knurling on it, is very useful for building up that hand strength so they can use a traditional power bar. It's also useful for, for teenage boys as well to be able to get into it. Uh, other things that we've got here um, that's kind of unique. Uh, unique, I mean, we've got some squat bars here, or squat racks here, and a power bar here, again, I mentioned before. we got a small little Smith machine here. We've got a leg press. We've got a bunch of stuff, really. Uh, we've got a reverse hyper machine. That's how you know that we're a real... Uh, powerlifting gym, I'd say, because we have the reverse hyper machine uh, developed by Lou, Lou uh, Simmons. This is going to really work the posterior chain of your back. If you have any type of back, lower back pain, this will usually strengthen those muscles and make it a lot uh, less painful, I should say. A lot of people like to use this before they do deadlifts or squats to decompress the spine and, uh, to, you know, just as a good warm-up for the posterior chain before you start lifting very heavy. Uh, lastly, I would say the other two pieces of equipment that are kind of novel here is this Leverage ISO um, hammer strength uh, lat pull-down machine. If you have a hard time using the more traditional lat pull-down machine, okay, the cable one with lots of attachments, if you have a hard time working just your lats, this machine is basically impossible to, to cheat with it. It's going to be purely your lat. Now, you can use an underhand grip to make it a little bit more bicep dominant, but it's still you're still going to feel it in your lats. So it doesn't really matter if you like overhand, you like underhand. It's all up to you. And uh, again, for backs, we've also got the uh, over um, the super pullover machine. Now, pullovers are a wonderful exercise for your lats, for your back. Um, this is what Dorian Yates, you know, multi Mr. Olympia here. You have uh, one of his posters right here. This is what he used to develop his amazing back. It's like a cobra head back. And he used the pullover machine by Natalis. So this is really one of the most desirable pieces of bodybuilding equipment. These machines easily can sell for over $5,000. They're kind of hard to find these days. And uh, we've got one here, so you can work out just like Mr. Olympia's uh, and Mr. America's and everybody else does. Because almost everybody these days, uh, if they're at a big bodybuilding gym, they're winning huge titles. They're using a pullover machine in their workouts to develop their backs. So, oh, okay, I think that's probably enough for, you know, some of the rare desirable stuff. Of course, we've got a full dumbbell rack, uh, some pro-style ones over here, up to 125. Got space on my rack for up to 150s, which we will get in here eventually. But I just wanted to make this video, it's about 13 minutes long, but I hope that you found it to be informative of some of the unique stuff that we've got here uh, that you're really not going to find at a lot of other gyms around here. You know, your, your standard Planet Fitness and such, you know, they didn't even have bench presses, of course, but they sure, surely do not have some of this more rare things that we have in here as well. Okay, guys, see you in the next video.